Good morning, Michelle Cafe Servings er, and Cash. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Cash is going to say his last hello and then goodbye, right? You're going to say your last hello and goodbye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. No, now you need to go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Yeah. When you tell him something he doesn't like, he shakes his head like that all right we're doing dollar tree and dollar general there there might be let's see i have some fabric here that was hobby lobby but you can honestly use what you have and you can get fabric at dollar tree um you can get jude at dollar tree I'm, I'm using what i have all right uh, this wicker brooms these wicker brooms are from dollar general i think they were like a dollar 99 maybe they're the scented brooms they smell wonderful um we're using dollar tree for the wings um for the head and then i'm going to give you other oh and also for the halo and then i'm going to give you other ideas of what you can use for wings to oh, he's going crazy over here so um other ideas for the wings um from other things that you might have so all right so we're gonna this is really fast and easy but it's super cute and it would make a great gift or it would make a great hanger for on a gift um we're starting with the wick broom and all right dollar tree dollar tree has these now i think they're five on i had pulled some off already um these little balls we're using these for the head so you could use either one but i'm going to use this one and then we're going to use stain it a little bit now these are wired and we we need a little bit of that wire yet just to be able to put it down in so that it stays and i'm going to just use this distressed oxide this is what you have you could use the coffee stain now the one thing is is this is sort of shiny styrofoam besides it has the little fuzz on it this is just going to really get the the fuzz of it see how it's getting the fuzz on it and then we're going to take a paper towel and actually wipe it some because it um it will come off some so you got to get it dried a little and then maybe do a little more if you want get it to where you want it or you could just honestly you could have left the color that we have it i'm just grunging it up a little bit just dry some of that off hello linda like like a fuzzy fuzzy little newborn hair but it's just gonna be cute this is gonna be sort of rustic it's 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 a rustic project all right so these have a hanger on we're leaving that jude hanger now you could try and stick it down in this wrap but i have a better wrap let me just get my make sure my glue gun is here and plugged in I think is there anything oh so we need also we're gonna make that halo right away so that we ha can put that all together in one wrapping look what I found at the Dollar Tree this weekend the pip berries you I've always been able to get it at Hobby Lobby but they have it at Dollar Tree so that was pretty cool. And we're going to make the halo out of this. All right, to make the halo, I'm going to make that. I'm going to start up a little bit because I need a stem to hold down in here. I'm just going to wrap it around a couple times. And you have to end up back at the stem. I'm just going to twist that. Okay. 
Um, that I have to leave a little longer because it has to go above the head, though. That elf is fun to watch, right, Becky? It, it's just, you gotta laugh at it. It's so goofy. All right, so this is the halo we just put together. So again, Dollar Tree. I was shocked when I saw them. All right, and so this is the halo. Isn't that pretty? All right, we're gonna start putting it together already. This is so fast and easy, but it's just cute. Oh, okay, so, well, I'll get the wings after. Let, let's put this together. All right, so we're going to just put a little bit Let's see. I want to make sure this doesn't hang down too far because then I, otherwise we have to trim this down because I'm going to glue this on already so it's easier to hold in place for when we wrap it. So we'll just put a little bit of glue here. And make sure you're putting it on the opposite side of the hanger because this is is the front the head the spice oh okay so that's going to go on like that let's um go ahead and do this right away too now this can stay it doesn't matter because it's the back it can come down a little bit i think it'll be covered anyhow so we're going to go ahead and put a little glue on this too We'll just hold this in place. Again, it's gonna go so here. Well, this will be angel. All right, we got that. Okay, now you can get Jude at the Dollar Tree. I've got this, again, my big boss out here. I'm gonna just start it. It doesn't matter what way you start it. I want to start at the top, probably. I guess it really doesn't matter. And we're going to wrap it. And let's let's just do a little bit of glue here. And you can maybe wrap, do a little glue as you go. You don't necessarily need to, but it might help you hold it in place. We're just gonna wrap it. Look at it's looking cute already. Wrap it. Let's just Put another little bit of glue here. And don't wrap it all the way down. I'm just getting it down past where I had the, the head stem. And then we're gonna cut this off and glue it to the back. Now you're gonna need, when you, if you use as big of glue as what I'm using, or as big of jute as what I'm using, you need quite a bit of glue there to do that. Hello, Bridget. Thank you, Debbie, for passing me on. I appreciate it. All right. So this is the, the front. Looks like he's swaddled. I'm just gonna put a little more glue back here just to hold those layers. Again, this is a big a big one so we need to do that all right we got that um let me just picture all right now we we need a bowl and we're going to need arms let's do the arms first all right i'm just going to do the jute again i'm going to do let's try doing a tie i'm not sure how that'll look i'm making this up oh i gotta do the wings too right You'll be anxious to see the wings. Okay, I do like, I think I do like that. This is going to be the arms. That's going to come around like that. So that's going to be an arm. We're going to make that a come around like this. So I think if we tie a knot right here, just play with it. Um, I'm itching already. Okay, before you cut it, just make sure it's going to hang the way you want. Yeah, I think that'll be really, really cute. And the knot helps hold this all together. 
so that it doesn't fray completely. But I do like the fray of the hands. You may not see them because we are going to put a little heart on today. All right, so we got the arms. Let's see, I think we'll do them before the wings, and then I'll show you the wings. Just looking for placement of the arms. I think this will be really, really cute like this. And then that'll actually, I had some of those pip berries showing through. I'll actually cover that just in case you see them, but I don't think it's Linda. Yeah, these are awesome gifts. Like I said, even to put on a, a gift as like a sort of a giveaway kind of thing for someone. All right, so you got that. All right, should I show you the wings? Um, not yet, not yet. Let's do a bow. Let's, let's do a bow. I'm trying to get this hanger. This hanger has to come up here. You know what? We'll do the wings first. That way I can show you my rhyme or reason for the colors for the bowl. Dollar Tree Poinsettia. Now this is where, and I already picked a couple off that I wanted, and I actually, did I pick a couple? Yeah, I did. And I actually went out and sprayed them. These do have some sparkle on, you can see, but I went out and sprayed them a little bit more sparkle. It just made it a little darker also. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you could get white ones. Dollar Tree. These are our wings. Look at how pretty that's going to be. And then I've got other ideas sitting on the table here that I'm going to show you. Just put a little glue here. Yeah, I've got other ideas to show you of what you can use for wings. All floral kind of ideas, but it, it may be things that you have at home that you don't necessarily have to run out and get. But I love these red wings. I love them. They're so pretty. I said the white would be beautiful too. You can get white also. I'll make sure the wings are sort of even. Thank you, Barb. Yeah, this color is just really cute. So this is my rustic angel. All right, so for um, the bowl, what we're gonna do, we're going to use some raffia. Look at a little of that over here. You don't need much. Hello, Anita from Tennessee. You know what? I like some of this finer. I love this finer raffia. Oh, Cash decided he wanted to come back and say hi to everybody again. He doesn't usually come on in the middle. No, you don't, right? One more piece. There, he's saying, you saying hi to everybody? Mm -hmm. He usually doesn't come on in the middle, so all those that came on late gets to see cash, right? Yeah, you just want to come say hi to everybody? Yeah. They're saying hi to you too. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now you're going to get demanding. Yeah, now look at how he he wants my hand on him so he is going to just keep bothering me till I tell him to go lay down right yeah yeah he is pretty cute sometimes all right so we've got the raffia just think if I want to tie that first um no we're just going to lay that let's see maybe we'll do a light tie on it wrap it around yeah I know I know I 
like just watching what I'm doing here, aren't you? Yeah. All right, so I also coffee grunged up some fabric. You can get away without coffee grunging. I have the fabric here. Um, actually, I think it was this one. It's a little deeper red, which matches. That'd be really pretty. I just grunged up just a little bit. Um, I need a little tie here. You're going to be sneezing from this jute. All right, and I just have just some a couple little little st strips of it. I want the raffia to be more predominant too behind it, so I just have little ones. Um, yeah. All right, let's tie that a little bit. that off. Don't want to cut my raffia. All right, this is my cute little bowl. Right up under the head. Do you think I'm going to get a button out? <laughs> Follow me, you know, there's going to be a button involved here. This is just turning out really, really adorable. I did not put it together ahead of time. I had a thought in my head that I was playing with, um, but I did not put one together ahead of time, and I'm loving it. Thank you, Chris. All right, so we got that. We're almost done. We just need to embellish a little bit. All right, I've got just some little wood hearts. I couldn't find a star. I have star buttons. I couldn't find them. Otherwise, I would have used that probably. And then uh, one of my followers, I have some sweet followers that have sent me buttons and that. These were in one of the bags. These are just really, this is just really, really cute. All done. Yeah, isn't it cute? It's so cute and easy, right? I love that button with it. That's really, really cute. And then again, I'll show you other ideas for wings. All right, we're just gonna put her hands down here, her arms. And I'm gonna put the little heart at the bottom of it. If you had a little wreath, you could do that too. So let's just glue down there. Now it's up to you. I've got my arms sticking out a little bit so you see them. I made them long enough so that they would stick out. Coffee too. Let's add. Okay, so for the heart, just to blend it in a little bit, I'm going to get this distressed ink out again. And it's a little dauber. And I'll just show you what difference it'll make. I'll do half of it. You see, it just adds a little something to it. Again, stick on. I'll show you other ideas for wings that's really thinking outside the box. Um, but it's things you might have. And you could go in so many different directions with this. Let's just add a little bit. Do you have a thing as well? Isn't it cute? I that. All right. So again, this is using, let me tell you now, if you hopped on late, we used a wicker broom from Dollar General. We used a head from Dollar Tree. This is the head. We used a poinsettia from Dollar Tree. This jute, I have a big, big, huge thing of jute here. That's just because I use jute all the time. But you can get jute um, from Dollar Tree. These pit berries, a rope of it. Dollar Tree, I picked that up yesterday. Dollar Tree. Raffia, um, you can get that from Dollar Tree. 
get they have fabric this is not fabric from Dollar Tree but they have fabric at Dollar Tree you can get it um, it's just super easy and simple and cute when anybody love to get that in present all right let me show you the couple other ideas that you could use for wings that I've got sitting here that I, I thought would would work I wanted to you I love that pop of red though let's get that big thing out of the way but let me just show you I have another group able to make it on but let me just show you other ideas for wings all right here's another little broom now these are thinking outside the box but these could be your real rustic you know real rustic how about using a couple of these branches let me just see if i can pull a couple out well i can pop them back on i think so like maybe two on a side this would be a really cute rustic angel also how about putting two on each side and you could use pine cones for the decoration or something like that so that would make a really cute angel also so again use what you have um, if you have some of these branches let me just stick them back on that's the beauty of using these i got a couple more ideas over here if you have some fall left over i have a fall pick here left look at these let's see can i pop them up oh, I can't. all right let's just bend that over look at these how cute those would be for your angel also that would be really really a cute angel all right so if you have fall left over look at what you got here can i do that there something like that can you see that but i would pull it in farther so you get the bushier part that would be really cute thank you gloria that was from my pinterest live the other night well, have a good day susan all right and then i have one more branch thing here that of leaves that would make really really cute also um they won't pull off but look at these leaves let's just let's just cut them off these i think were hobby lobby oh i got another idea here too that would be really a pretty one too but again, um, wouldn't those leaves be really pretty as an angel? All right. So again, think outside the box. Now this one is really going out there, but it would be cute. It, it really would be pretty and cute. These little picks you get at Hobby Lobby, look at how little feather, and you can get them in all different colors, but look at how the little feathers would be really, really cute on an angel too. Good morning, Kathy so you know just think outside the box look at what you have this was just took me a couple minutes walking downstairs why are you back again he's he's wanting to say hi but just thinking outside the box by walking around and looking at what you have that looks like it could be a, a general shape of wings but i love this idea